Hallelujah. Let's give a great big hand for Jesus and Brother Hunter Spirit that comes in mercy and Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. While we're all standing, let's just begin to reverence God in this house. Amen. Let's give Him thanks today. Amen. Let's give Him thanks. Amen. Ain't He good to you? Amen. Ain't He good to you? Amen. Has He been good to you? Has He filled you with the Holy Ghost? Amen. Has He blessed you in this house? Amen. What are you here for? Amen. Did you come to lift Him up? Did you come to give thanks to Him? Amen. Or did you come to sit down? Or did, amen. I come to get blessed for a Or I come to receive something? I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I know I had something else, but God laid this on my heart. Amen. I preached on it last night, but I figured I'll preach again good tonight. Amen. For the ones that heard it last night, I guess you have to hear it again. Amen. Uh, if you have your Bible, let's come up into Psalms 100. Amen. This has been in my spirit. I just feel like I want to share it with everybody. Amen. I like to tell the world about this message. Amen. Because it changed my life and the way I look at things. Amen. The past couple weeks I've been praying. I've been saying, God, you know what this is? And He's been dealing me on this. And I say, God, I've got to have this in my life. Amen. When we neglect this and we take this for granted. Amen. Psalms 100 and verse 4. Amen. When you have it, say Amen. 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 Psalms 100 and verse 4 reads like this. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Give the Lord a hand. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving. Amen. Enter into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him. Amen. That's what I want to be is thankful unto Him. Amen. I know it's a simple thought and I told Him last night, but I think this is just appropriate for, amen, the time of year. Amen. Look at some and say, Thanksgiving unto God. Thanksgiving unto God. Thanksgiving unto God. Amen. And, and I began to think about it. And I know this time of year, everybody likes Thanksgiving. Amen. Everybody likes food. Amen. Everybody, you know, I mean, some families ain't, but I like my family. Amen. And I, and I enjoy getting together with my family. Amen. I enjoy the food press and it's good. Amen. I never looked at it the way that I looked at it until God changed my heart about Thanksgiving. Amen. I just, you know, it was a good time. We seen the family. And uh, blah, blah, we, we ate food and it was good. But this year, God changed my heart about the way that I look at Thanksgiving. It's more than just a dinner that I sit down to. Amen. It's more, amen, than just, amen, family that I'm going to get to see. Amen. It's more than that to me. Amen. But it's Thanksgiving unto God. Amen. I begin to think about all the things that God has done for me. Amen. Not just naturally, but all the things that God is doing. Amen. Spiritually in my life. Amen. All how He's blessed me and how He's, amen. He's revived me, Sister Dory, and He's made a way. Amen. When they don't seem to be away in my spirit. Amen. He's done things in my life that I never thought that He would do, Brother Paul. Amen. I was praying earlier today and I said, God, amen, whatever you speak out of me, amen, let the anointing destroy the yokes, amen, of the ones that are sitting amongst us. Amen. Because I hope that your heart, amen, it gets pricked just like theirs was. Amen. After the day of Pentecost, they were there and Peter began to preach to them and said, amen, this same Jesus, amen, who Amen. God had made him a Lord and Christ. Amen. And they were pricked in their hearts. Amen. Anytime I preach, boy, I want somebody, amen, to be pricked in their heart. Amen. By the word of God. Amen. But I was thinking about it. You know what Thanksgiving is? I looked it up. It says confession. Amen. Sometimes you just got to speak it openly. Sometimes you just got to tell about it openly. Amen. We, we get things from God and God blesses us. And we don't even ever say anything about it. Amen. And give praise unto God and a thank offering. Amen. We, you're willing to thank God for everything that He's done for you. You're willing to thank God. Amen. In the good times. And you're willing to thank God in the bad times. Amen. And God, amen, begin to speak to me. And He said, where is our hearts at? I want to thank him year round, Sister Pam, but when this time of year rolls around,
around. Amen. And I see that name on the calendar that says Thanksgiving. Amen. I should take a special time and say, God, you know what? This year's passed by. Amen. And you blessed me with hell. Amen. He said, I would that you would prosper and that you would be in hell. Amen. God, I'm healthy. Lord God, He wants us, amen, to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Brother Ball, I'm standing here and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. He wanted us to be baptized because He said, He that believeth in His baptized shall be saved. Lord God, I went down in His name. Amen. And I'm thankful for it. Amen. I said, It's true. It endures to all generations. Yes. Brother J.O.I., I'm glad and thankful to know that without controversy, great is the mystery of God. Yes.
thankful Amen. for a God that loved you and you couldn't love yourself. Yes, come on. While we were yet sinners. Amen. Come on. Come on Christ died for me. Yes. Yeah. When I was in my sins, Christ died for me, and I'm thankful, Bo. Yes. I'm thankful for what he did on that hill. And I'm thankful he didn't quit. I'm thankful for the prayer that he prayed in the garden. Amen. Yes. The flesh said, son, I don't want to do God, I don't bother. Please let this come pass for me. But then he said, nevertheless, at that prayer I'm thankful for. Yes. And that's the come greatest on. prayer you'll ever hear in your life. He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Yes. And then he rose up and he was tempted to take it by the chief priest and an all the scribe. They took him and in the day he was and then they slain him. And then they and then took him and hung him on a cross. And then they put and then the crown of thorns on his head, Lord. They stripped him. They shamed him. And I've got a lot to be thankful for. the shedding of blood. Right. If he hadn't died and shed his blood, I wouldn't be saved today. No, but thank God if he didn't go away, bro, he said, I send you another comforter. He said, I'm going away and it's and I will come to you. Yeah. Yes. I told me about there and that's the spirit and Jesus is one. Yes. And then he said, I'm going away. But I'm sending you a comforter. Yeah. And he said, I will come to you. And then I'm glad one day he came me. Ain't you glad one day I feel the Holy Ghost right now? And ain't you glad one day he came to you? Ain't you glad one day he came to you? Hey, behold, I see the promise of my Father upon you. He breathed upon him and said to see me the Holy Ghost. Ain't you thankful for the Holy Ghost? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs described it. He said, when thou goest, it'll lead you. And then when you sleepest, it'll keep you. Yes. And when you awake, and then it'll be with you. Yeah. Come on, I'll preach. No, he said, when you wake, he said, he'll talk with you. And then because he said, I, and then I'm going to be right there with you. And then, lo, I'm with you always. Ain't you glad? Ain't you thankful? And then he got into his gates. You know what God said, Jr. It's going to come to the house of God. But before we even can enter into this building, we've got to come through the gates. And then with Thanksgiving. And then before you can do anything, before you can do anything, you've got to enter into his gates with Thanksgiving. Before you can come to the courts. And then sometimes, Bo, and then we come to the courts with a good praise. But we forgot about entering into the gates. Amen with Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Come on. Enter in to his gates with thanksgiving. We wonder why we ain't blessed. Because when we come in, we don't thank him. We come in mad at each other. We come in and get upset with one another. And then we expect God to move. But until we get some of these things, I'm thankful for my brother. He said, love the brotherhood. Love the brotherhood. Until we start being thankful for one another. Instead of despising one another. And amen, to stop for using one another. And then talking about one another. When we start loving one another. And then we start and then reverencing one another. And being thankful for one another. Then we'll see a move of God. Then we'll see an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And then be thankful that we have family. Yes, come on. Come on. Family is more real than my actual biological family. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes, sir. It's true. Well, they didn't want nothing to do with me. Amen. But these ones do. These ones will lift me up when I'm down. Those ones don't give a hill of beans. That's right. Why? Because this is what the people of God is supposed to be. And I'm thankful for a family that'll pray for me when I can't pray for myself. And then somebody that'll lift my hands up. And then like they did Moses. And then they held his hands up. And every time his hands went down, and then they began to lose. But when they held his hands up, and then they couldn't help but win. So 
worry about all of our material things. Well, I need this and I need that. Come on. And you're so blessed around you, you forget about what He's already gave you. That's right. About what He's already gave you. Amen. Amen. Some of us got nice vehicles in our driveways, Brother Bo, and we complain about them. And we take them for granted. Yes. And we're asking for bigger and better and more expensive and better looking. Uh -huh. But God said, why can't you be content? And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'll never bless you with any more than what you got until you get content with what you got. Amen. He won't. I've seen it happen with my own eyes. Amen. Brother J. Orr, I've seen it happen with my mom and dad. I've seen it happen with you guys somehow or another, supernaturally. Amen. They went from having no money and then went from having nothing and God turned. Jesus. Ain't you thankful for that? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes I wonder. I know what the problem is. We're robbing him. Robbing him. I was robbing him. But I began to get thankful. What was it Tim and Paul told Timothy? Perilous times will come. What would they be, Bo? Unthankful. Unthankful. Paul said in all states, be content. Uh, That's right. Amen. How's that one go, J.R. about God and his contentment some times ago? It's great game. Amen. So when you get content, you get thankful for what you got. God can't help but bless you. That's right. God can't help but you get gain. He can't help but increase it. And if he can't help when you don't rob him and you give to him and you give to him and you pay to him and you do what you can say. Oh, 
Oh God, please lift my head. Oh God, please be my rock. Please be my strong tower that I run into and I'm safe. But we ain't thankful for him. Oh God. God, please be that pavilion that I run into until the calamities are overpassed. But we don't do nothing about it. Amen. Come on. God, here I am in the horrible pit. God, here I am in the miry clay. And you know what God does for us every time, Brother Bo? I mean, what's He do? He sets our feet on a solid rock. He establishes our glory. I mean, and what do we do? We ain't thankful. Come on. Come on. Come on. Preach, we ain't thankful. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. He wants glory in our lives. Now I want you to have glory in your own life. He wants glory in our lives. But glory to him. For him. Yes. Glory's to him, not to me. That's right. Me preaching don't do anything. You preaching don't do anything. Come on, preach. Come on. Me fighting don't do anything. Paul said, it's not me. I ain't the one that's fighting. Come on, preach it. It's not me, but it's Him. Yeah. And when we get in our minds, it's Him that's doing it. It's Him that I'm thankful for. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I want no good, no good thing in my flesh. I can't do it, but He can. Yes. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord, that was on my side. Come on. Amen. Amen. Right. When is the church going to wake up and be thankful? Come on. Come on, preach. It's time and it's high time because our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Amen. 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 Don't you want to be thankful? Amen. Paul said, be careful for nothing. Don't worry about it. We got some people so fearful, so they worry so much when they bow. But God's beginning to show me, don't you worry, son. Come on. I know the hair. I've numbered your hairs on your head. Yeah. And then I know the sparrow. Every sparrow that falls. And then, is it, aren't you more than raiment, son? Ain't you more than food, son? Come on! And then, don't you understand that I got your back? Don't you understand that I love you? Yes. Come on. Don't you understand that I created you in my image? Come on! That's right. Be careful for nothing. Don't you worry about it. Why? But in everything. But in everything. By prayer and supplication with what? Thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Yes. Don't worry about it. Just be thankful for it. Just be thankful for it. God, I don't know how it came. How I how it came, I do. I'm thankful for it. Yeah. It was him. Any good thing comes from the Lord. Yes. And then I'm thankful for it. And then ain't you, don't you feel like that? And then I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for it. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. And then sing praises upon the harp unto our God. Let us come before his presence. One, his presence is fullness of joy. So when I enter into his presence, I get in the joy, but I'm thankful. Come before his presence, his joy, with thanksgiving. So when I enter in his presence, I come thanking him. I don't know what you come doing, but I walk in the building in his presence where two or three are gathered in his name. He's in the midst. His presence is here. His presence is here. And what do I do? I come before his presence with thanksgiving. God, I thank you for the service. God, I thank you for the opportunity. God, I thank you for the work that's in my life. God, I thank you for the spirit that's in my life. Amen. You watch and see if God don't bless you. Amen. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto Him with songs. Get loud about it. Get loud about it. I've got a right to shout. I've got a right to sing.
No, I ain't where I want to be. Because Canaan land is just inside. I ain't where I want to be. I know the wilderness ain't where I want to be. But I'm thankful that I'm here. I'm thankful that I crossed the Red Sea. Because I crossed it on God. Thank God said, I ain't going to let you get money, son. You crossed on God land. But this is probably the most important. And when you will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, whenever you do it, if you're going to thank God, and He wants you to thank Him, but when you will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, this is Leviticus 22 and 29, offer it at your own will. Don't do it because I'm doing it. Don't thank it because somebody else has got a nice one like that out in the a parking lot. Come on. Hey Amen. Don't you stand up, thank God, because you got to get home and you just thought somebody else bought one too. Come on. And you didn't want to do it, but you said, Well, God, I guess everybody else is, so I guess I'll go too. Come on. You should have come on your with him on your heart saying, come God, on. you blessed me. Yeah. God, I thank you for it. God, I know you didn't have to, God. Amen, but you did. Hey, Amen. Come on. Come on. It's good. Ain't it just. Weird how when somebody begins to just they do good and they're so thankful for everything that God gives and they just start increasing. You see it all the time. But ain't it funny, Brother Bob, it's sad actually, when you see them start decreasing and going down. Why? Because they, they get unthankful. They start saying, Oh, I wish I had a better home. Yeah. You know those people wish they had a home? That's right, amen. You know those homeless people yes. that don't have a bed to sleep on? Amen. And that's, we start asking for bigger and better, but we ain't even thankful for what we do have. But if you did, if your heart's desire was a better home, but if you didn't sit there and complain, I, I truly believe you'd just be thankful for what you do have. It may not be a couple years down the road, you may find yourself in a bigger and a better home, nicer. Amen. How come? Because you were thankful. Come on. Amen. If you keep driving that thing, it may not be new. But you keep praying. You, you keep saying, Lord, I'm thankful for what I do have. Yes. It wouldn't surprise me if God ain't making a way when they didn't even seem to be a way. Come on. Come on, bro. We're more thankful. Come on. When you get thankful for Lord, I, I like what I feel in these services. Lord, I'm thankful for it. It wouldn't surprise me if, amen, that promise is on you, don't feel you. Amen. It wouldn't surprise me if you look upon you, keep feeling you. Amen. It wouldn't surprise me. But he said, son, he said, daughter, I'll put it in you. And then it'll be Christ in you. The hope of glory. Hope of glory. Oh, Ain't you thankful? Yes. Oh. And then you have to feel good after something like this. And then if you don't, I don't know what to preach to some people. Amen. You got to be thankful. Amen. Don't you love him? Yes. Amen. 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 We get so uncontent in things. But Bob, I'm starting to learn. I just, I'm happy with where I'm at. Amen. I'm happy with where I'm at. God will move me on up. How can he, he'll be saying, come up hither. Come up hither. Come on. I, I, I'm getting content, but God's going to say, son, I'm moving you on up. Yes. I'm moving you on up. Amen. The angels, just like they did for Jacob there at that ladder, they were coming down and going back up. I can see them coming down to me and taking my problems back up. I can see them coming down and saying, God, I'm crying. He looked up to heaven 
and he gave thanks, Josh. Yes, oh, he gave oh. thanks and he blessed it. And God took them five loaves of bread and them two little fish and then he fed 5,000 and that was just the men. And then God, every time, even if it looks little, I mean, if you'll thank him for it, if you'll bless him for it, if you'll bless his name, if you'll be thankful unto God, if you'll give thanksgiving unto God, I mean, he'll bless it every single time. I mean, God can't help but bless you, I mean, when you're thankful. Amen. He can't help but thank you. And when you thank him, he can't help but bless you. He, he's, he's a good God. He's so good. They took up 12, I mean, full baskets, bro. You know one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving? I love the food, but Jeremy, you know my favorite part about it? Leftovers. The leftovers. <laughs> I mean, you know they had 12 baskets full. They had leftovers. Come on! They had leftovers, and it was still good. Yes. And it made it good. You know, when you're thankful, there's leftovers. Come on. When you're thankful, there's leftovers. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's good. Amen. Just be thankful unto God. Just be thankful unto God. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Just confess and say, God, I mean, I have the best one. I may not be the best test. I can't test as good as everybody else, but God, I got a testimony. I can't sing as good as everybody else, but, but I got I can sing a song. That's right. Be thankful what you can do for the Lord. Yes, come on. You know, some people would like to sing, but they can't. I think about Sister Diane all the time. She all the time says, Brother Hunter, would you pray for me? And then pray that I pray for my throat, pray for my voice. She wants to sing. And some of us won't sing. But she wants to. She's thankful for what she does have. I mean, I believe that's why God blesses her. That's right. And God bless us if we get that attitude. Say, God, God, I want to sing. God, I want to testify. And when we get like that, God will bless us. God will bless us. Just confess it to God. Yes. What to say with the mouth of confession is made unto salvation. Amen. Amen. Just be thankful unto God. Amen. Thanksgiving unto God. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. Give my hand for His word. Amen. Ain't He good? Ain't He thankful His house? And has He been good to you? Did He fill you with the Holy Ghost? Amen. Did He put a song in your heart? Come on, let's, let's get around. We can be thankful to him.